One of the things when you're looking at how do you fit into a team or incorporating yourself, ingratiating yourself to a different team, is I think the first step is you've got to stop and see who are the members of the team and how do they work. You you didn't need to look at what is your work style and how can you integrate that work style into the team. Now, everyone's not going to always like you um, and might not even appreciate how you do your job. What I have found is when there are challenges with fit, there's a couple things I have to check myself. A, am I taking it too personal? Um, do we have the type of relationship where I can speak to the team leader and or do I need to address teammates directly and head on? In the past, what I think I've done is, is really thought, hey, adjust yourself, Jerry, adjust yourself, adjust yourself. But the truth of the matter is I'm a part of this team because I bring a unique experience. And so not only is it about really adjusting yourself, it's really about identifying what your sweet spot or what your strength is and then helping the other teammates to understand that. In the past, I really didn't address issues like that. I just thought, okay, if I just do a really good job, if I work harder, then everything will be fine. And that's not, that's not reality. The harder I worked, um, the more passionate I became, it only really made the challenge of fit greater because you're working so hard and you've got so much energy going in, but you've never taken the time to stop and reset so people can all work together. Because again, so often as women, we think we have to fit into another culture, uh, another gender, you know, whether, whether it's culture or it's gender-based. And at the end of the day, it's really about all the members of the team, the inclusion and diversity of the team, and being really bold enough and confident enough to stake your ground and let people know, you know, this is what my contributions are. And here's how I like to be worked with. You don't have to be rude about it, but you do have to set standards and boundaries and have accountability behind those things, or it just simply is not going to be a good fit for the project, for the client, and or long-term relationships.